some people are thinking about AI. Do you know I heard something really scary about artificial intelligence? You might not want to hear this, but by 2037, they believe that AI robots are going to take over the world to the point where we'll actually be hiding from them. They'll get a billion times smarter than us. We look at this, we hear about, you know, different viruses that come out. We hear about global warming, we've got people gluing themselves to roads. This world is going down. Do you agree with that? You might disagree with my message, but you can't disagree with that. This world is going to pop. This world is falling to pieces. And I'm asking you, when you enter into that grave, have you got an answer? Because there's only one who died and rose from the dead. There's only one who can conquer the grave. There's only one who split time in two. And that is the man, Jesus Christ. That's why I put my faith in him. Are you thinking about this right now? Is that going through your mind right now? I'll tell you why I'm not a Muslim. I'm not here to offend anyone, but I'll tell you why I'm not a Muslim. And I'll tell you why I'm not a Catholic. And I'll tell you why I'm not a Buddhist. Because Muhammad, you can go by his grave, dead. You can go by Buddha, Buddha's grave, dead. You can go by Gandhi's grave, dead. But Jesus, can anyone find the body of Jesus Christ? You can't, because Jesus rose from the dead. No one's been able to produce the body out of the many haters, the many skeptics. You still know the facts point to the fact that Jesus died, this man, and he rose from the dead. And this man says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Come to me, and I'll give you eternal life. In fact, if someone gets number five, who's not my friend, I'll give you a tenner, okay? Do you know what number five is? Here's the, I'm raising the stakes. I'll give you 15 pounds if you can guess number five. Those of you going by, I've got all of these prisons here. We've got Alcatraz, Strange Ways. Number Don't get yourself five. 15 very, quid, gone. <laughs> anyone guess it? In South Africa, it's called Robin Island, okay? Now, as you can see, we've got some prisons. Where am I going with this? What's my end line? I'll ask you this, right. I very much doubt there's anyone here today who's going to prison, or maybe there is, I don't know. But if you have, it's poison for lighter crimes. But did you know this, my friend? Every single one of us has a prison that lives within us. Every single one of us, it doesn't matter how happy we seem, we all carry chains, don't we? Some of us, we carry the chains of addiction. Some of us, we carry the chains of a broken heart. Maybe there was a loved one who you really loved and that broken heart you were cheated on. Some of us, we carry the chains of bad health. But there's one chain that carries every single one of us. Do you know what it is? Here's my shocking statistic for you. Ready for it? 10 out of 10 people die. Is that right or wrong? Every single one of us carries this chain of death. We're all going to die one day. I know you don't want to think about it, but it's the truth. Every single one of us is going to die one day. And the big question is, when you end up in a grave six feet under, where will your soul be? Because we often think about life, we think about, you know, at the end of our life, our pension. But have we considered where our eternal soul will go for all of eternity? Jesus said, it is appointed for man once to die, and after that, the judgment. And I'm asking you, when you stand before God and he says to you, why should I let you into my heaven? What would your answer be? Would you say, because I've been a good person? Because I've tried to do my best, I go to church. Did you know all of those answers are wrong? There's only one way into heaven and it's through Jesus Christ. The only reason this man in front of you will go to heaven, not because I've been a good person, because I'll be hiding behind Jesus Christ, who on that cross died for my sins. The weight of my sin, the wrong things I've done, the wrong things you've done, your lies, your blasphemy, your sex outside of marriage, your drunkenness, all of that sin was placed on Jesus Christ. And there on the cross, he was crushed, he was punished, he was beaten. The wrath of God was poured out on Jesus. So forgiveness is possible, so the way is open. If you like, he's the key to heaven. And if you've got a bolted door in front of you, the only way you're gonna get through that is through Jesus. I know this is a bit depressing. I know when I'm talking about death, we're all going to die. We've all got a friend who died far too young. I wonder if there's anyone in Lancaster today who's ever been to any of these prisons, okay? So do you recognize which one this is, okay? What about my friends over there? Do you know which one that one is there? Closer to home. Can you number one, okay? It's the Tower of London, you're right. The Tower of London, yeah. Now that's right. Please do consider these things. One final challenge and then I'm all done. One challenge to the atheists. Is there any atheists here today in Lancaster? Here's my challenge to you, Mr. Atheist. 
What would you think of me if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What if I said, Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me then? But you'd say, read it first and then make a judgment. That's just very judgmental. You're not going to read it first. And I'm saying the same thing to you. Do not say the Bible is full of fairy tales. It's a load of nonsense without reading it first because most people haven't. And I'll give anyone who's not too embarrassed to come up to a bold street preacher and take a portion of the Bible, come and take it from my hand for free and read it for yourself. Consider, was this man, Jesus, the real deal or is it a load of nonsense? You can't reject it until you come and read it. Feeling shy, come and chat to me after, or you've all got phones, download the Bible app. God bless you all, thank you for listening. <laughs>